Well, that fish barely ate it. Look at him. I'm just going to try to get him in because I haven't caught much today. Got him. Not a big one, but we'll take him. That. Swallow the frog. It's a fat one. Here we go. All right, guys. First one of the day after missing about at least one nice one. There we go. 15 inch or so. That was on the black KVD Sexy Frog. It's my favorite frog on the market other than the Spros. I would throw the Spros all the time, but when you got a lot of pickerel in New Jersey, you end up losing a few like I did the other day. So I'd rather lose a KVD Frog than a Spro Frog. But uh, to keep at it, this is usually the patch of pads that's got them. Come on! What's going on today? Fish hit it as soon as it hit the water. Swallowed it too, it's gone. Absolutely gone. Got both hooks. There we go, it's a nice fish. Second one of the day after missing quite a few so far. That's a pickerel, I think. Yep. Don't care about them. There we go, number three. Third fish of the day on the frog. They're all the same size. There we go. Got them to bite in close, but. Here we go, number three. Just a little one. It's number four. I don't even think he'd keep. Got the frog pretty good though. Here we go, number four. That's a good one. Freaking had to sink it. I 
can't tell you guys the last time I threw a Cinco. Good one too. Looks like an 18 plus. Grabbed the net too early, but I got a real light rod today I'm using on this, so. There we go. In the net. I'm letting my pad field settle down for a little bit. I went through there and missed three really solid fish, so hoping to go back through there and catch a couple more. Wow, look where he's hooked. Right in the side of the cheek. It's a good one. There we go. 18 plus probably. Get the hook out. Got a picture of him for KBF. Solid one, man. All right, guys, 17 and three quarter. I thought for sure that would have gone 18, but real fat one, I guess. Solid one. All right, there he goes. We're gonna keep throwing that sink, yo. That's a good one. Come on, baby. Be a bass. It is a good fish. There, now he's going nuts. Look at him jump. It's another 17 plus. Wallowed it. Got him, baby. Let's go. I haven't thrown a Texas rig Cinco in years. Should get back into it, man. It's catching some fish today. It's a good one. Look at that one. That's another 17 incher, man. He's fat, too. Swallowed that Cinco. Look at that one, guys. That's two nice ones on the Cinco. All right, guys. 18 inch bass. It's got the release on them. Beautiful fish. All right, there he goes. He had that hook swallowed, but it kind of came out easy. So, swam right off. That's six bass for the day now. I might have to switch up to a, a lightly weighted Texas rig because the wind's kind of blowing me around and it's making it hard to fish this stretch the way I want to fish it. So I'm gonna come through here with the Cinco and then I might come back through here with a weighted six inch worm or lizard or something. But, all right. Throwing a four inch Bass Pro Sticko. Happens to be my favorite Cinco to throw. Uh, you just get so many in a bag for the price, so. And they're a little more durable than Gary Yamamoto's. There's another one, just a little guy. Number seven. Just a dink. Holy crap, that fish was running with it. And I lost him. Oh my God, look at how tangled this all is. That fish, I thought the bait was here. I set the hook, it was way over here. Look at this mess I got. Oh my gosh. Just 
distracted by the jumping carp and then this guy bit it all right there's number eight just a huge carp went through the pads over there look at that that fish got double hooked look at that just fell right out another one right there number eight guys I came through these pads about an hour and a half ago and the sun was bright. There wasn't really any cloud cover, but now we got some cloud cover and the winds picked up. So that should help the bite. I mean, they were still biting the frog about an hour ago, but they were kind of slapping at it and missing it. So I'm hoping this cloud cover and this wind is gonna allow them to commit to the bait a little more. Or it could have just been me. I just might've had bad hook sets on all of them. But that's eight fish now on the day and one over 18 and another one that was just about 18 so pretty good day